Hello everyone, Amud here from a Target Common YouTube channel. And in this video tutorial, we will explore what is an IDE, what are the available IDE options for Playwright with the JavaScript and TypeScript, which IDE will be best for Playwright with JS and TS, and also we'll see how to install Visual Studio Code on Windows machine. So let's start with basics. What is an IDE? That stands for Integrated Development Environment. Suppose you know Java programming language and we can write Java codes in any text editors like Notepad++. You need to save the file with .java extension and then in the command prompt you can compile and run your Java program. But if you make any mistake in writing code on Notepad++, it will not notify you until you compile that. So if I give you any tool where you can write Java code and it will show any errors if you're making any mistake or if it gives you the automatic suggestions, then it will be best for you, right? You can develop faster without making much mistakes. So those environments are actually called IDE. So if you define this IDE, it is a software application that provides an environment with multiple integrated development tools which will allow you to develop softwares efficiently including building, testing and packaging. Means everything you can do using that IDE. It majorly contains code editor, compiler or interpreter, debugger, build automation tools, version control systems and test framework etc. So some IDE are focused on some specific programming languages like Eclipse and IntelliJ IDEA are majorly for Java programming language. PyCharm is for Python language and Visual Studio Code is mainly for JavaScript and TypeScript. But we can use plugins with these IDEs to use with other programming languages. So one IDE may support one or more programming languages and operating systems. Let's see what are the available options of IDEs for Playwright if you use JavaScript and TypeScript programming language. We have Visual Studio Code which is also known as VS Code, WebStorm, Atom, IntelliJ IDEA and Eclipse. So whenever you need to select any IDE, you need to decide which programming language you are going to use. As I mentioned earlier that some IDEs are specifically designed and developed for a specific programming language like IntelliJ for Java and PyCharm for Python. Similarly, Visual Studio Code is majorly for JavaScript and TypeScript. So we know that IntelliJ IDEA and Eclipse are majorly for Java programming language. And if you want to use any other programming language, then you need to use extensions. So we can skip IntelliJ IDEA and Eclipse for JavaScript and TypeScript as of now. Then we have Atom, which does not provide the strong support for Playwright. So we can also ignore Atom. Then we have two left Visual Studio Code and WebStorm. And both are very powerful for Playwright with JavaScript and TypeScript. Then the other major factor comes cost. And Visual Studio Code is free, but WebStorm is not. So if you want to use any free IDE, then Visual Studio Code will be best option. But if you want to use paid tools, then you can use WebStorm. So I have selected Visual Studio Code for my Playwright playlist with JavaScript and TypeScript. So let's see more about Visual Studio Code. It is free, built on open source and runs everywhere. If you visit official website of Visual Studio Code, it will give you an option to download VS Code as per your operating system. Since I am using Windows, so it is giving me an option to download for Windows. But if you are using any other operating system, then it will detect automatically. But if it does not, then you can click on this other platform link and you can download as per your operating system. Installation part I will cover later in this video. But let's see the features of VS Code. You can also install Insider's Edition of Visual Studio Code. So Insider Editions will be always latest, which is not the stable one. But if you want to try the latest 
features of visual studio code which is get to be made public for everyone you can use visual studio code insider but i will suggest you to use the stable one and we can access visual studio code through web also that means in a browser if you click on this link then it will open a tab with the url vs code.dev and you will see the similar window if you install vs code on your machine so if you want to quickly edit any file or you want to write some basic code then you can use wave vs code editor you can open any folder from your system and you can work on that and it will save the files as you do in standalone application on your machine but it provides limited features like you cannot execute your code so it is not much useful but just to quickly edit or create some files you can use wave version of vs code vs code supports almost every major programming language several scripts in the box like javascript typescript css and html but extensions for others can be found in the vs code marketplace so i said earlier that vs code is mainly for javascript and typescript which is coming by default but if you want to use with other programming languages like python java then you can use extension for that so vs code provides 50k plus extensions in their marketplace which can help you to add extra features to your code editor like github copilot or github code space we can easily use github copilot with visual studio code which will help you to write code faster and we can extensively customize our vs code like you can select the color themes you can select the profiles and you can also sync your user settings across multiple instances of vs code we can use vs code to code anywhere like you can directly work on a cloud or a remote repository or using a browser using vs code for web it provides built in source control which is git but you can use other version control system with the extension and it also provides easy integration of github code space with vs code which will allow you to directly work on a cloud environment so basically it provides a lot of features like integrated terminal we can run the code version control build task local history themes accessibility and web support so if you are new to vs code then don't worry about it we are going to use a lot of features of vs code in my upcoming videos let's see how can we install that is very simple process if you go on the top we have the direct option to download for windows if you click on it it will start downloading the installation file and once download is completed you need to double click on this installation file you need to accept the agreement click on next on this screen you can check this check box to create a desktop icon and also i will suggest you to check these two check boxes also i will show you why in some time click on next and finally click on install so you can see installation is completed and this check box is already checked that means if you click on finish it will automatically launch vs code so let's click on finish and it is launching vs code for us so this is the vs code window on which we need to create our projects and work on that let me close this window first and if you want to open vs code then obviously you need to search for the shortcut and you need to click on it but we have some quick way like you can open the command prompt and simply type code dot so you can see visual studio code is opened this is happening because we selected those two check boxes which was actually visual studio code command line interface so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone